Well, if you're looking to get your venti dark roast at Starbucks today, you might want to take note of this next story. Canadian locations will close this afternoon for a few hours. Now, it's part of the sensitivity training that has led to the closure of U.S. locations last month, and Scott Peterson has been following all this story. So, a couple hours? What are we expecting? Uh, two to three hours, sometime this afternoon, depending on your location, and it is about sensitivity training, following uh, what happened and what we witnessed in the U.S. So if you go to a location, you're going to see something like this this afternoon, uh, depending on where you are in Canada, it being closed somewhere around 2 to 2.30. I took a picture downstairs as well. It's 2 o'clock in Toronto. This is from Ottawa, 2.30. And depending on the province you're in, it should take effect for about three hours this afternoon. And this this will affect about 20,000 employees across Canada, 1,100 branches thereabouts uh, across the, the country. And this is unconscious bias, they're calling it. They're calling it also conscious inclusion and ensuring that everyone inside of Starbucks feels, quote unquote, safe and welcome. And this is according to a statement sent to the CBC. And of course, this is in response to that incident in Philadelphia, where an employer uh, called the police as two black men sa sat waiting in a Starbucks. They were told that they weren't able to, to use the washroom and the police showed up and put them in handcuffs, led them away, followed public outcry as we know and then they as well, they had the sensitivity training in the U.S. So this is the Canadian response uh, this afternoon. And there's lots of changes as well. There was lots of public apologies, full page ads and also now Starbucks is allowing even non-customers to use their washroom. That's a big step for a corporation. Yeah, and it's an initiative that uh, many companies are looking at now. They don't want the public relations nightmare that resulted from Starbucks. So what has been the response so far? Well, Starbucks has been credited for getting out in front of this, you know, doing all that proactive things, calling attention to the problem, meeting with the two men in involved here as well. But there has been some grumbling about the effectiveness of the sensitivity training. Here's a statement by Canada's CEO on Starbucks saying this is just the beginning of a conversation that uh, the conversation will continue and become part of how we train our partners going forward. So just on the face of it, where we're not seeing that many protests, we're not seeing that much public outcry, and particularly no boycotts, and this is something that Starbucks has really been nimble to avoid, considering the severity and how bad this looked for Starbucks, a major company.